and welcome to Blockland Help. In these videos, I'll be showing you how to do stuff in Blockland, like events and some building techniques. If you have any suggestions of what to make a video of, leave a comment below or fill the form out on my channel or on my website. Today I'm going to be teaching you about uh, multiple if statements. It's basically if you have more than one uh, thing trying to tell you on if... Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. I don't know why, but if you have more than one on variable true or false, and you don't want them to be activated every time you check a ver you uh, check a variable or something, so basically, uh, the, well, the easiest way to show this is making a simple quest. So we're going, <coughs> um, so just going to make a really quick uh, quest kind of thing where you click this brick here and you get the quest and if you click it again with the quest already activated then um, you will <coughs> it will tell you to go get the brick or you haven't gotten this brick yet or something and then we will click this brick here and click this brick again and get get the brick so uh, we're just okay. So, on activate clients, bottom prints like no, uh, chat message. Get the green brick. So, and then uh, let's see. On activate clients, we're going to be adding a variable, uh, quest one. We're going to be setting that to one. Actually, we need to. No, that's not right. Okay, on activate clients, if variable quest one is greater than or equal to one, on variable false clients bottom. Pr uh, oops, chat print chat message. Um, get the green brick. On variable false, get um, variable false. Wait, oh, <laughs> mod variable quest one add set one. Okay, uh, okay, so basically that's going to be making us get the brick, but then on variable true clients um if variable quest well, hold on uh green brick greater than or equal to one kinda thinking this out as I go along, haven't done something like this in a while. Uh but it should work. If it doesn't I'll just correct it. Uh really quick. Um on variable true clients um, oh what's it called ah uh, yes chat message will go wait 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 on variable false client Oops, chat message. Well, go get the green brick. Okay, and variable true. Client. Uh, chat message. Good job. You got the green brick. Okay, so basically, I'm thinking that those are the basic events. I'm hoping that they are. <laughs> uh, they should be. Uh, so basically, you're going to see at the end of these if variable events, so there's these extra box that's empty here. This is basically uh, which events are going to be activated when you uh, when this happens here. Uh, it's not the no which events like one, two, three. 
or anything like that. It's the range of events that are going to be activated. So if I'm going to activate events 1 through 3 here, which I'm going to be 1 through 3, then I'm going to put 1 space 3. This is going to make you really organize your events more. Um, got to pay attention to which events are where. Uh, it gets more complicated and everything like that. So, and then, and and then we're going to do this one for four and five. So these will this will only uh, activate the variable false and variable trues of bricks one through events one through three, and this will only do the, uh, variable false variable true on events four and five. So we're just going to do that now. Before we do that, um, we're going to add this. Client if variable quest one greater than or equal to one variable false. Let's see client chat message. I don't need this yet. Uh, variable true client um, <coughs> mod variable green brick set. One self on activate on wait on variable true self uh just disappear for five seconds. Okay, well, we could get more advanced uh, into that. Like uh, if you already have it, then you um then it say you already have it and you're not gonna get it. But I'm just not going to do that right now because it's basically this but it's uh, with that obviously so we're going to click this brick and tells us to get the green brick click this again and we haven't gotten the green brick yet so it's telling us to go get the green brick still if click it many more times it'll still t say that and so when we click on this brick here uh, we have green brick now we click on this and good job you got the green brick. Click on this again, and click on that, you know. Okay, so yeah, that's basically uh, multiple if statements, uh, sort of, yeah, basically, actually. Um, this can be used for many, many other things other than quests. Um, like in my next video, I'm going to be showing you how to do advanced very links with multiple if statements uh, that's pretty advanced um, uh, stuff we're getting into um, so and I'm running out of ideas of what to do now so if you have any uh, if you have any uh, issues with eventing or anything like that that you need help um, I could I'll try and help you there's also um, something that afterblock has been released, which is mod, uh, not mod, but it's a client thing for Blockland players, where you can do a bunch of stuff, and it has um, an events cookbook, which I am contributing to, uh, and basically has um, a ton of events and how to do them, like tutorials of events. It's all text events, though, uh, all text events text events, it's all text um, stuff written out, no videos, I'm um, sure I could post post links to videos, but um, yeah, there'll be a link to the event text, the event cookbook in the description and after block website, and so you can get the clients, so you can um, do that kind of stuff too, so... I will see you in my next video um, on advanced variable links with multiple if statements.